I am pleased to inform you that JPR recorded positive growth in revenues, profit, and distribution in the 25th fiscal period, ended in June 2014. Distribution per unit was 6,150 yen, increase of approximately 150 yen compared to the previous period. Since June 2012, JPR achieved DPU of 6,000 yen level for five consecutive periods. Occupancy rate improved to 97.8% as of end of June. Driven by intensified leasing activities, 42 out of 62 properties. In other words, two thirds of JPR's entire portfolio enjoy 100% occupancy today. In many cases, such full occupancies were the results of floor space expansion by existing tenants in those properties. While the office leasing market in Tokyo is on a strong recovery mode, I am often asked what the trends are for the rents. Here, I would like to share with you the comparison between the market rent and JPR's rents that were contracted with new tenants during the 25th fiscal period. As a pie chart shows, in more than half of the new leases, the contracted rents were higher than the market by 5, 10, or even 15 percent. This was a very promising outcome that I would like to point out. On property acquisition front, JPR mainly reviewed assets from our sponsors. From Tokyo Tatemono, there were nine properties that JPR conducted due diligence. However, as a result, JPR did not acquire any of those properties during this fiscal period. JPR will continue to focus on office properties in Tokyo where growth is anticipated. Urban type retail properties that ensure solid NOI yield after depreciation, as well as regional properties that generate stable revenues. It is JPR's approach to make sure that the NOI yield of the entire portfolio is sustained by attaining a broad and optimal mix of geographical areas and asset classes. JPR has focused heavily on achieving DPU of 6,000 in level in the past periods. The prospect for reaching this target is even stronger today. Our forecast for DPU in the next fiscal period is 6,180 yen. JPR will continue to endeavor for steady growth of DPU. As a result of two factors, namely improved occupancy and compression of financing cost, the DPU may possibly increase by 300 yen to 400 yen over the next few fiscal periods. In addition, driven by rise in rents for new leases and reduction in free rent impact, approximately 100 yen increase in DPU may be realized. Given the current situation, it is quite feasible to stretch our target to 6,500 yen level from current 6,000 yen within the next few years. The challenge for JPR remains to be acquisitions of high-quality assets. Such acquisitions may include public offerings, which will be accretive and help realize continued growth. With this being our first priority, JPR will continue to press ahead with steady DPU growth. Thank you for your kind attention.